recommends death for Tyrone Johnson. Jurors deliberated for five hours today and determined Johnson will receive the death penalty for the murder of his girlfriend's 10-year-old son. Last week, Johnson was found guilty of the murders of Stephanie and Ricky Willis. Fox 13's Jennifer Holton joins us now live from the Hillsborough County Courthouse downtown. Jen, bring us up to date. Well, Linda, this uh, decision coming just moments ago, and it came after the jury deliberated for a little over than five, a little more than five hours this afternoon. This sentencing phase has been going on since Monday morning, and here we are Wednesday night with a decision, and that decision is that Tyrone Johnson will receive the death penalty for the murder of little Ricky Willis. Now, Johnson was found guilty Friday of murdering his girlfriend, Stephanie. Willis and her 10 year old son Ricky three years ago. The entire ordeal happened after they were arguing about what to watch on TV. He then killed her son Ricky, who was hiding under his own bed. Defense attorneys argued that the murders were in a heat of passion, not premeditation, and that Johnson became enraged after Stephanie blamed him for his son's 2017 suicide. But prosecutors maintained the evidence showed Johnson when looking for the terrified child who was hiding under his bed. In their concluding arguments today, they brought the jury back to that moment. Each step Tyrone Johnson took was a chance to end this, was a chance to show mercy to that little boy. Each step he took was a chance to stop this whole thing. But each step he took was a choice that he made to go find Ricky Willis, a choice he made to kill Ricky Willis. And ultimately, the state did succeed in its push for the death penalty for Tyrone Johnson. Remember, this had to be a unanimous decision. So even if one juror decided that uh, death penalty as uh, did not fit that crime, it had to be a life sentence in prison for Johnson, but that was not the case here today. Again, the jury deliberated for a little more than five hours and came to this decision that Tyrone Johnson will receive the death penalty. Linda. All right, Jennifer Holton reporting live for us. Thank you.